Have you always wanted to learn how to double cut? Today I'll show you all the techniques so you can seamlessly merge two pieces of wallpaper together. <laughs> Firstly, we'll apply adhesive to the wall. Make sure to loosen the first strip a bit. Now you can also apply adhesive to that strip. Take the piece of wallpaper you want to apply and position it over the strip you've already put up because we'll be double cutting later on. Try to align it well with the pattern. Identify the fibers and overlap them. In this case, we'll meet at the center of the motif. The fibers aren't perfectly straight, so they won't match up everywhere. But do your best to align them and overlap where you can. Then firmly attach the rest of the wallpaper. First, I'll trim the edge that's on top of the frame. Once you've done that, you can trim the top. I always neatly seal the seams along the ceilings and walls afterward with caulk. This results in a nicer edge, and it makes painting look better. Now these two pieces are overlapped. You'll notice that the edge has become thicker. Now you can cut. With a uniform pattern, it doesn't matter where you cut, but with this pattern, I find a fiber line and cut right along there. Press your knife through the wallpaper firmly, so you cut both pieces at once. Next, remove the outer portion that's left over. Then, lift the wallpaper up. Do this slowly. You'll now see a remnant of the other strip, and you'll want to remove that as well. If everything's gone well, you can now press both strips together. Apply some extra adhesive to the surface. Spread the adhesive across the wallpaper slightly to make it more pliable, and as you can see, it's become seamless. Once you've painted it once, you can lightly sand the edge and you won't see anything. Now I'll show you on the other side. Through my channel, you will receive very useful painting tips to ensure you avoid any mistakes during your DIY projects. If you want to be able to paint your own house and save money, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed. I'll try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. You'll see the line here, but it's minimal. You won't see it anymore once it's painted. Now I'm going to caulk the seams, and you'll notice it looks quite different then. You can see the difference once it's been caulked versus when it hasn't. Here's where that seam is, but you won't see it later. And there's that other seam, it's completely seamless now. You can now start painting the wallpaper. However, you might still have old wallpaper on your wall and may want to remove it first. For that, I've got a ninja trick so you can do this without a steam device. You'll find that video in the center of the screen where I teach you how to do it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video that will appear in the center, where I'll be teaching you many more useful tips.